Hello everybody. I want to make a quick video. I'm moving my hunting room to this new bedroom. And uh, so I want to show you what I found in the old hunting room that I'm moving to make my daughter's room because I'm embarrassed that I didn't look through the bag ammunition that came out of my AR-15 when it blew up. So I want to I want to take it to where I was <clears throat> when I just found this a minute ago. And I had to beg my wife to video this because I wanted everybody to see. So come over here. So I'm, gonna, I'm moving the gun cabinet over to that other room. I'm going to move everything out of this closet. And I just happened to look at this ammo bag that I put <clears throat> all the ammo in when my AR blew up. <clears throat> and I couldn't retract the bolt because it was locked up. And we were suspicious and we're trying to figure out what happened to the AR. And there's a lot of a lot of speculation to what could happen. And I've been talking to the gun manufacturer, the ammo manufacturer, and uh, there's one one case that I've made to the ammo manufacturer about a telescoping round, and that's when the bullet gets pushed back into the casing. And it's weird because I didn't see this earlier, but I'm going to lay this out how the am ammo was in my magazine. <clears throat> My gun blew up in December, at the beginning of December during the Kansas rifle season. And I was using my rifle, I was actually sighting it in before I took it out the day before. And I want to have my wife really get a good video. So I always put about 10, 10 rounds or so of the magazine of the good ammo. And I have cheaper ammo in case I get crazy and want to spill the magazine. So if you notice, <clears throat> These are the cheaper 55 grain ammunition. This is the more expensive Silver State ammunition, 63 grain, um, 5.56. And I want you to know. I want to. I want you to see something. There's a round in there that has telescoped back into the casing. Come back just a little bit so it gets. And you see this round right here. And how I know that's the that was the. So this was the round that was uh, directly below the bolt carrier and it got smashed and you can see it's crooked this is the top of it this is where the bolt carrier hit it it flattened out the lead it flattened out the brass it bowed it this was probably the next one in line and somehow when it got crimped it the round telescoped back in or it, or it telescoped back in as it was traveling through the magazine you know going back up and up so that is what I suspect happened when my AR blew up is that I shot a telescoping round that as it chambered up through the magazine through the bolt carrier um, into the chamber it got pushed back slightly and caused an overpressure and I wish I would have seen this and I'm embarrassed that I didn't look at this closer because now we're into February and we still haven't figured out what happened to my gun and I think this is going to give us uh, some really good clues to what happened and, um, you know, I'm not so sure that some of these other rounds aren't pushed back just slightly when I start measuring them. But I want, I want everybody to see these are all Silver State Armory. You got to come back a little bit. Let it catch up. These are all 5.56 SSA. And these are your cheaper 55 grain lead that I get from Walmart. So, in conclusion, I wanted to provide this because I think it's going to help prove my case that it wasn't the user's fault. It was a product that a consumer bought. I'm just asking for some help in fixing, uh, fixing my gun. So, I hope this helps. I'm going to take some pictures and also include it, and hopefully include it in the video if I can figure that out. Thank you, guys.